Hi everyone, my name is Mathieu and as you might have missed in the previous video, I did some samples with forged carbon fiber. So infused with polyester resin and another sample with um, regular epoxy resin. And so these were the results. So now in this video, we'll go a bit further. And so I got a question from um, Jesus or Jesus, I don't know how to pronounce it, um, about comparing the strength between uh, regular woven fiber and the chopped fibers. So you'll see this in this video. I'll go through some samples and tests. And then also the question was from uh, Gaffers, I hope I pronounced you know, your name right, right um, about the pinholes possible. So uh, Lindsay Labs, check out her YouTube channel. She has some great videos. And uh, she also answered that question. There is a bigger possibility to have problems with pinholes using those chopped fibers. I'll address that in the next video, as well with the question from Harry about 90 degrees angles. So as I told, these are in interactive series of videos. So I make these on the spot. So make sure to comment so I can address your questions in future videos. So I just did an infusion and then went um, all the way through the uh, post curing of the epoxy resin just to make sure that for this samples everything was like in the optimal um, possibilities of making like right test samples uh, in this video so here you can see the results so this was done with epoxy resin so as you can compare with previous videos with the polyester resin you have less shrinkage of the epoxy resin so a better surface finish on these parts so this was a four times 650 gram square meter uh, 12 weave and the chop strands with the veal so in theory we will compare um, the veal with the 650 gram square meter um, 12 weave from easy composites so here i'm making the samples so i make sure that everything is as perfect as possible to make these like uh, two tests on these samples so same measurements and same thickness so i'm aiming for three millimeters on each part and um, preparing everything to do the layup so a big question is also how do you know um, like measurements and weight and the amount of epoxy resin needed. Uh, very simple to say, data is king. Just So just like in social media, the more you know, the better. So I have a box full of samples. So I knew exactly from the start what these samples were going to look like. So we had a three-on-one um, ratio for the chopped strands and the veal. So uh, fibers compared to the resin. So three times more resin than the fibers. And for the infused parts with the 650 12 weave, I was at around 40% uh, of uh, resin compared to 60% of fibers. So I have to tell, so in advance, I knew what the results were going to be, but I just thought it was a good question and a good moment to visualize uh, a comparison between both. So here is my test setup. So I've drilled a hole with a hook where I can just add some weight. So for the comparison, I've also included multiplex. So I, it's how we call it in Europe or at least in Belgium. Um, it's with uh, wood arranged in different orientations. So I'm just adding weight to see where it breaks. So I'm be, I'll be comparing that with the chopped fibers and the 650 as well. So here you can see it again from a different angle. So I have a bucket and I just add weight. So I'll go into more detail later on about all the like um, specific data. So that will be for the next video. But normally you could see like a good comparison between the two now in this video. So this is the chopped fibers. So a big bending is possible on that. And here you can see in the GoPro edit um, how I added weight by weight. So e each weight was 250 grams. And you can see a lot of banding. So here is the four times 650. And there wasn't that much of banding, but I'll explain that a bit later in this video and in the next video as well. So even, I think it was about two and a half kilogram added 
on top of the previous uh, test setup. So the 4 times 650 was a lot stronger in bending. So just to add some noise data, so I knew from the start So this is to explain like the density of the material. So I knew there was a big difference in density and the more dense it sounds, the stronger it should be. So you wanted to see me break things. So here you have it in this video and here it is on the bench press as well. So here you can see and hear it cracking. I'll add a separate video later on as well. So honestly, like before making this video, I knew what the results were going to be. So you have the orientation of the fiber that's doing a lot to the strength. So in a regular multiplex, you have alignment in two weaves. So like in two directions. This is a special multiplex that is in one direction, so it's easy to bend. And then you have like the 650 twill weave oriented in zero and 90 degrees. And then you have the chop strands and the veal, so the 300 grams veal that is orientated in multiple directions. So you will get strengths in multiple directions. Also notice that there is like a wavy finish that will like cause some problems or change something the results. So I got another question. Would you guys like to see a live video as well? Let me know in the comments. If you like this video, leave a thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe to our next videos and see you guys in the next one. Thanks for watching.